Hey everybody, Hobby Farm Guy Steve here to wrap up Turkey Week with the spotlight of a stunning bird, the oscillated turkey. Don't go away. So there are only two species of turkey in the world, both native to North America. The wild turkey of Eastern and Central North America is what many of us picture when we hear the word turkey. First domesticated by the Aztecs and then again by Native Americans, this bird is the ancestor of all heritage and commercial breeds we find today. But there's another turkey species in the genus Melagaris, the oscillated turkey, found only on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, which embraces a few Mexican states, the northern half of Belize, and Guatemala's northern region. Similar in appearance to North American wild turkeys, they're smaller and more brilliantly colored. The body feathers are an iridescent bronze green color, with the male being brighter than the female. The tail feathers are bluish gray with a bright gold tip and blue bronze eye spots on the ends, which give the bird its name. The word oscillated derives from Latin for having eye-like markings. The upper major secondary wing coverts are an iridescent copper. The primary and secondary wing feathers have similar barring to that of North American turkeys, but the secondaries have more white, especially around the edges. The skin of the head and neck lacks feathers, it's bright, blue and is scattered with orange-red nodules or warts. Around the eye is a bright red ring of skin. Males have a blue fleshy crown on their heads with yellow-orange warts. During the breeding season, the crown enlarges and the eye ring and warts become more visible in males. Legs are a dark red color in both sexes and adult males have one and a half to two and a half inch spurs. Unlike wild turkeys, oscillated turkeys do not have beards. Oscillated turkeys are much smaller than any of the subspecies of North American wild turkey with adult hens weighing in about 6 to 8 pounds and adult males weighing between 11 to 13 pounds. Spending most of their day under thick cover within forest and scrub forest, they will venture into clearings and adjacent farm fields for waste corn and other feeding opportunities. Their diet includes seeds, fruits, leaves, and insects, as well as other small creatures. They often prefer to run to escape danger uh, through the day rather than fly, although they certainly can fly swiftly and powerfully for short distances. At night, they roost high in the trees away from night hunting predators such as jaguars, and they're usually found in a family group. Oscillated turkeys are not as vocal as North American turkeys, which may be due to the high number of predator species found in the forests of Central America. It may be in their best interest to be quiet birds that remain undetected. However, both males and females make a nasal cluck putt location call, which can be made louder to sound the alarm. The males do gobble, however it's quite different in comparison to what we are accustomed to from wild turkeys. The gobble begins with several low frequency thumps. As the tempo of the thumps increases, the typical gobble is produced. Nesting occurs once a year in the spring. The hen lays 8 to 15 eggs in a scrape on the ground, then incubates the clutch for 4 weeks. The young are precochial, meaning that they can scamper off as soon as they hatch. The chicks stay with the hen until the start of the next breeding season. Relatively large populations of oscillated turkeys are found in protected areas of Belize, where the species is most common. However, in general, oscillated turkeys are rare and have been limited from some states of Mexico. They can be found online, but expect to pay exotic animal prices. There's not been a great deal of success bringing these birds in captivity, though some do claim to have had success. So that's the oscillated turkey, an exotic, beautiful cousin to the wild turkey we're familiar with up further north. Let us know what you think by dropping a comment below. And don't forget to like the video before you go and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Until next time, happy hobby farming everybody.